Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at the top 10 my favorite action figures of the year. So it will be every brand, it's not just Marvel Legends. I will make a separate video for that, but first we will look at them on my shelves because I don't want to take them out of their pose. So I will just show them and talk about it. So on the 10th position, I have to give it to Marvel Legends Spiral. I don't know much about this character, it was a big surprise for me. It's completely new sculpt, double jointed arms, and they were able to put six arms on this small body. And uh, the sculpt is nice, the paint is nice, so I'm very happy with it. It would have been higher on the list if I know much more about the character, if it was one of my favorite characters. Uh, but it's definitely, definitely worth getting. And on the ninth position, I have to give it to Doctor Strange, Marvel Legends, classic. Um, this is completely new sculpt, except the cape, I suppose, and the effect parts, of course. He's on my picnic, Avengers picnic <laughs> shelf, kind of. He's eating a pizza. And the paint is nice. Uh, the head sculpts are nice. I like that we have a closed eyes head sculpt. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really worth the price, I have to say, since it's completely new and it does what it's supposed to do. The cape fits nicely. I'm very happy with it. It's not on the higher on the list as well because he's not one of my favorite characters, but he would have been much higher if he was. And on the eighth position, I have to give it to Mayfax Spider-Man with the lighter blue colors that I just made a review of. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. I'm a big fan of Mayfax, Mayfax Spider-Man. And this this figure is also very nice. It's it's really comes out. The colors really pop out. So I like that, but it's not higher on the list because this is the same body mold we already got before. One, two times, three times, you can say. Because basically they are the same articulation points. Differences here, it's different colors and the same head sculpt. So I would have been making it higher on the list if it had different head sculpts at least. But I'm still very happy with it. And on the position 7 I have to give it to Modular Iron Man from Marvel Legends. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom version, which has uh, non-metallic colors but many accessories. I have him on my Spider-Man animated shelf. As you can see, it's still not finished. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of the best Iron Mans made from Marvel Legends, I have to say. I have it three times. I also have it on other colors. Here is the plasma cannon that I use with the metallic version. So uh, it's, it's cool to have these options. And I have the third figure with this effect part, which was also in Marvel vs. Capcom. So it's nice to have this much options. It's one of my favorite Iron Man figures. So it's on the seventh position. So the sixth position is Marvel Legends Symbiote Spider-Man. So Symbiote Spider-Man is maybe my favorite character of all time. Favorite look, favorite design. And this looks from the animated show kind of, or the Secret Wars, Wars version, you can say. And the figure is the retro Spider-Man body mold. It's, I think, very nice. I have this figure also several times. I put the McFarlane kind of hat on. I have one unopened package. So he is not higher on the list because this figure is not pinless. So there was no pinless Spider-Man yet, unfortunately. And at the same time, the shoulders bother me. The chest just kind of looks weird. But other than that, it's very nice. And on the fifth position, Marvel Legends Classic Retro Lizard. So this figure is completely new sculpt. It has a bandy, t bandy tail, two different head sculpts, different hands, um, and also one a laboratory um, thing, object. I don't know what it is called. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy with it. It looks just like the classic lizard from the comics. The second head sculpt is really nice as well. Um, I am a big fan of the animated show, so he's on the animated shelf. And yeah, very, very happy with this figure. And on the fourth position, Mayfax Symbiote Spider-Man. As I said, my favorite look, my favorite design. And this is more like the McFarlane kind of art version. I like that as much as I do the animated show version or the Secret Wars version, or even more, I don't know. Maybe I like the McFarlane art style more. And this figure can pose very well. It has a nice blue shading, even though it's not that visible here. But I like that it's not so visible, actually. I prefer it's not as visible as the Venom. 
And he has nice two head sculpts and even an unmasked head sculpt, the third head sculpt. And uh, he's not on the higher on the list because it's the same body mold again. Um, and there is no specific something that can really pop out. The paint job, the logo is not that clean. So that's an important issue that is not higher on the list, but it's a very, very nice figure. And on the third position, Marvel Legends Animated Spider-Man slash Spider-Man and his amazing friend Spider-Man slash Amazing Fantasy First Appearance Spider-Man. Basically, they're all the same body molds, but I like the animated Spider-Man most because I'm a big fan of the show. And I think they did a good job with the new head sculpt as well as the uh, deco, paint deco, the shadowing, I mean. So I like this one most. And then later, I like the... Um, Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends version most. Uh, they can pose very well. This body mold is just amazing. The posing options are great. And the body proportions are nice. I like that it is a bit smaller. The Amazing Fantasy least out of this three. Because it just doesn't look that accurate to the comics. I have to say. So I made this pose. Just like on the first appearance of Spider-Man. But somehow. Like the Toy Biz version looks more like. The original original art artwork. Otherwise, maybe this would have been the my most wanted figure of the year, the first place. But unfortunately, it's not. But still, the best Marvel Legends Spider-Man ever. That's for sure for me. And on the second position, Mesco Spider-Man 2099. As I said, I'm a big Spider-Man fan. You already know that, I suppose. And Mesco did an amazing job with this figure. It's a bit bulkier compared to the symbiote spider-man and the head sculpt is very nicely sculpted the eyes the cape is kind of weak i have to say so that's my biggest concern the logo is nicely made i don't have any issues with the cloth material they used i didn't pose them that crazy but still it looks very nice and this uh, accessory is also very nice it looks a bit like he's wearing a Pyjama cosplay kind of thing, but that's what you expect from Mesco. I mean, when you have a cloth figure, it has to look like this. You can't make it better. So it's on the second place. My favorite figure of the year has to be Mayfax Iron Man Mark 85 from um, Avengers Endgame. So I like this figure because the proportions are almost perfect. The head sculpt is amazing. It just looks like Robert Downey Jr., and many accessories you get with it, many options, it's just it's just great, really. So I like the Fantas Crab version as well. I made a comparison, if you're curious, check it on my channel. Uh, I like this as much, almost, so I can also say this is on the first position. This just looks like a real Hot Toys figure. And I have this also Tony Stark figure next to it. So it's like a six inch Hot Toys, but it doesn't come with many accessories, so I have to say, the position gets more for the Mayfax figure, especially also for this amazing, amazing head sculpt. So yeah, that would be it for today. I can just show the collection a little bit. I sold a lot of figures, so there's a lot of changes. I will make a collection video when I have some things really set up more perfectly. And I will make a Marvel Legends top 10 video as well. So that's it for today. See you in the Marvel Legends Top 10 video. Bye.